Hey guys, I'm going to show you guys another production example and this time I'm going to be talking about how to filter your selection using object types. So inside of Maya, every single object has its own internal type. So for example, this would be a poly mesh, this would be an AI sky dome, and these would be cameras. And this seems pretty obvious, but you know, it can get quickly complicated, especially if I uncheck DAG nodes only, you can see there's many types of nodes in here, you know, from light linkers to IK systems and whatnot. And sometimes you wanna just filter your selection so that, for example, I can select all this and then filter it and only look for the file nodes. So if I run this script, you can see now I'm just selecting my file nodes there. And they don't have to be named file, for example. It's not using any kind of name matching. It's actually looking at the type of file. So I can change this to something random like Bob, but then I can select all this and run the script and you can still see it's selecting just these file nodes. So how are we doing this? Well, every single object inside of Maya has its own internal type and we can query that type. So for example, I can do import maya.cmds as cmds and then do cell is equal to cmds.ls cell, cell is equal to true. So this is just throwing my selection. And now what I wanna do is I wanna look at my first selection and then I just wanna do cmds.object type if I call this object type function, this is a special function inside of Maya that will just return the string type of this. So it's gonna return the type of this, but as a string. So what I can do is print this. And now, for example, if I select this mesh and I run this, you can see it's printing transform. This is a transform. But if I select the shape node now, if I run this and print, you can see now it's printing mesh because this is a mesh type. Now, if I run this on the camera, it will still print transform because I have the transform of the camera selected. And if I wanted the shape, I can just select that and run it. Now you can see it says camera. So that's how you kind of differentiate between these types of objects. You can run this object type command to figure out the type of object that you want to filter. And then you can do a little handy script to filter it. So I'm just going to pull up the hypershade at the moment deselect everything and you can see I've got a lot of stuff in the hypershade. I've got you know an AI standard surface which is just your usual Arnold uh, material and in that I've got a bunch of textures plugged in and I've also got a sky dome here with a file node plugged in as well as well as a bunch of other random things. Now this is just a basic example but if you have a very complicated scene this is where this script can come in handy and it's really powerful. So for example, if I wanted to just select all these file nodes, you know, if I didn't have a handy script to do it, I'd have to manually select it like this, or, you know, kind of use some names. And if your things aren't named that well, then it's a little bit hard to kind of filter these objects, you know? So what you can do is you can select all this, and then we'll use this little object type function, our knowledge of this to filter our selection. So what I can do now is if I just drag that over, I'm just going to remove this and then I can say uh, file nodes. Now I already know this is uh, this node here is called file node. So just to show you guys, if I run this command, you can see it says file. So I'll just uh, undo back to where I was before. And that's just how I know it's, it's a file node and that's what it's called. So it's handy to run this object type first to figure out the type of the node that you wanna use. So I'm gonna store all my file nodes inside of this list. So at the moment I don't have anything in there, so I'm just gonna define an empty list. Then I'm gonna loop over all my selected objects. And then I'm gonna do cmds.object type. I'm gonna run object type at each uh, iteration of this loop to figure out the type of object that this particular uh, you know object that I'm looping over is. So what I can do here is say if the value, the return value of this is equal to file. And remember that's the node name, the type of node. And if it equals that, then what I can do is just do file nodes dot append. And I want to append this object inside of this list so that 
uh, what I can do finally is do cmds.select and I want to select all my file nodes, replace my selection, and then run this. And now you can see when I run this, it's going to select just my file nodes that I have here and nothing else. And that's why this is really powerful. And then you can do something, you know, in the channel box, for example, like invert all the textures or, you know, do a global adjustment to all these file nodes at the same time. And you can see it's adjusting everything at the same time. So this is really handy for, you know, doing this kind of stuff. And you can imagine if you have a bunch of type of objects, for example, you had a, a bunch of joints that you wanted to hide or do a particular thing to, you can use this little filter script to filter the type and you can just change the type here or you can write a nice little UI to wrap all this code and then have a way to type this um, object type into a UI into a text field hit a button and then you know it'll execute this script here and if you guys don't know how to write UIs I have a quick little introduction on how to write uh, Maya UIs using this Maya.cmds module which I'll put in the description and yeah, that's it for this production example really quick. Just wanted to introduce, you know, these object types and how you can leverage them to do some cool things. Yeah. Until next time, stick around. Mm -hmm.